We're going to look at the 2017 AP Chemistry FRQ question number 5. A student performs an experiment to determine the enthalpy of combustion of 2-propanol, that's a rubbing alcohol, which combusts in oxygen according to the equation above. The student heats a sample of water by burning some of the C3H7OH liquid that is in an alcohol burner, as represented below. The alcohol burner uses a wick to draw liquid up into the flame. The mass of the alcohol combusted is determined by weighing the alcohol burner before and after the combustion. From the data in the experiment, we are given in the table below. Data from the experiment are given. Okay, so first of all, our question is to calculate the magnitude of the heat energy in kilojoules absorbed by the water. Okay, keeping track, they want kilojoules. So we want to get the magnitude of the heat and assume that the energy released from the combustion is completely transferred to the water. So we're doing a little uh, calorimetry experiment, and we know that that's going to be the equation Q equals mc delta T. And mass is the mass of the water that's being heated. So in this case, that's 125 grams. Now, sometimes in these kind of experiments, you have to add in the mass of what you're burning or what's, you know, what's um, uh, given off the heat, you know, like if you're making a solution. So if the solution, we might add those two together, but not. This is in the burner, and this is what actually is only the water here is getting heated. So we want 125 grams. Okay, C, that's a specific heat of water. So we'll just put that at 4.18 joules per gram degree. And then the temperature, I calculated that over there, 29.1 degrees Celsius. And that I just used those two values there, subtracted. So 51.1 minus 22, final minus initial. So here I have my calculation. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I get 15,000. 200 joules because grams drop out, degrees drop out, and left with joules. Okay, but it asks for kilojoules, so we're going to move the decimal point over, okay, and make that 15.2 kilojoules. Okay, that's my first piece of this problem, and that's worth one point. So one point just for calculating that. Okay, the next one says, based on the experimental data, if one mole of C3H7OH is combusted, how much heat in kilojoules is released? Well, we just figured out the uh, energy, but that was only for 0.55 grams. So what would that be if we had one mole? So we can do it like this. We'll say one mole of our alcohol, C3H7OH. And then, so for every one mole of the alcohol, I calculated that that's 60.09 grams of alcohol. And what we just learned is that for every 0.55 grams of our alcohol, that we get 15.2 kilojoules of energy. So I can go from moles, moles to grams, okay, grams to kilojoules, and this will give us our answer, which turns out to be 1661 kilojoules of energy. Now, we have here, we have uh, four significant figures. We can actually can say we could get five. I have two for my grams from here. I have three from my answer before, so my answer is only good to two significant figures. So I'm going to report this as, let's see, 1666, okay, 1700 kilojoules, or I could turn that into 1.7 times 10 to the third kilojoules. So either of these answers would be good answers. Now, on this part of the problem, we had two points. Okay, one point was for getting this right answer here, okay, and then the other one is for reporting it to the correct number of significant figures. So we had to reduce it down to two significant figures because that was the uh, least precise number in the problem. 
Okay, part C. A second student performs the experiment using the same mass of water as the initial temperature. So this little guy up here is the same. However, the student uses an alcohol burner uh, containing alcohol that is contaminated with water, which is miscible with C3H7OH. The difference in mass of the alcohol burner before and after the combustion in this experiment is also 0.55 grams. Would the final temperature of the water in the beaker heated uh, by the alcohol burner in this experiment be greater than, less than, or equal to? So we're looking for that. So what do we think it's going to heat up more, less, or the same um, as the uh, first stu student's experiment? So the idea here is in here, we don't have pure alcohol anymore. We have some alcohol mixed up with water. Now, when we uh, do our experiment, we're still going to have a difference of 0.55 grams. Now, some students across the nation kind of misinterpreted that, and they said, well, we're still burning 0.55 grams of uh, alcohol, and that's not true. Okay, the difference in the mass is going to be 0.55 grams. Some of that is the alcohol that's burning, and yet there's a little bit of water that's going to evaporate as we go through. So what's going to happen is we have less, okay, we have less uh, alcohol that's going to burn. Okay, less fuel that burns. And so, therefore, uh, we expect the temperature to be less than what it would have been in the first student's experiment. So it's going to be less than because less of the alcohol burns. Another thing you could think about was, you know, as the water evaporates, that's going to absorb energy. So some of the energy is going to go into uh, uh, vaporizing the water that was in the sample rather than getting right into the uh, water in the beaker. So either way, we're going to get less uh, temperature change. Okay, it's going to be not, the final temperature will be less. And that's worth one point. And that's the whole question five.